Uh, integrated review for section 12.5. So in this lecture video, let's take a look at the major units of measurement for area. So what we're going to do is actually convert between uh, metric area to metric area. I'm just going to write area. All right, metric to metric. So I really do not know too much about area in terms of matrices. So um, in some of these examples, I'm going to fall back on using the unit fractions, okay, using the unit fraction method. So here um, on the, here, we are given small areas and land areas, okay. This letter A, this letter A stands for R's. Okay, not, this is not acres. Acres is a U.S. measurement. For matrix, this A stands for R's. All right. So H-A means hectares. All right. So apparently, a hectare is 100 R's, and 100 R's is referring to 10,000 square meters. So, I mentioned this before when we were doing a little bit of geometry. So, when it comes to square, okay, I'm just using meter for example. If you ever seen um, square, that's referring to as converting area, all right? Square also means you literally have a square, okay? So, whenever you see Q, Right. Cubic meter, that's referring to as dealing with volume. When you see the word cube, that also indicates you literally have a cube. Okay. So, just uh, I just want to make sure I show y'all this. So, we'll be looking for these wording. Because, for example here, how many square decimeters? So, when they say the word square, all right, that means we are converting area. We're dealing with area. Deci centimeter telling you we are dealing with metric area. The reason why we need to know that is because that's how we know uh, where, I mean, what formula are we, are we actually need to look at, okay? So all these examples, you're gonna see the word square or the symbol square. So that's that indicating we are converting between area to area under the matrix. So right now what I'm having is 747 square millimeter. We need to convert into so many square decimeters. So that's D square decimeter this way. So let's look it up in here. Okay, do I see anything between square milli and square deci? Uh, I see it right here square deci square milli so I can use those that ratio so let me show you how this is done with a unit fraction so I'm gonna start out with 747 square millimeter over 1 times some other fraction put my square millimeter down here my ratio allows me go from go straight from square deci to square milli so I'm gonna put my square dicey up here all right I put the square meaning down here so the top and bottom can cancel out my ratio says one square decim decimeter is for 10,000 square mealy so now my square meaty cancels out 747 times 1 is 747 over or divided by 1 times 10,000 is 10,000 so this problem becomes 747 divided by 10,000. So my answer, 0 0.0747 square decimeters. All right, that's all we have to do. All right, express 162 hectares in R's. Oh, there's no C in it. I always spell this word wrong. R's, A R. So I need to convert 162 hectares 
equal to so many R's. So hectare and R's are land area. So one hectare is a hundred. So let me start out this way. 162 hectare over one times. Put my hectare down here. I do have a ratio to take me directly from hectare to R's. All right, filling my numbers. One hectare is for 100 R's. Hectare cancels out. So this problem, I will simply multiply. 162 times 100. My final answer got to be 16200. All right. 16,200 R's. All right, that's all I had to do. Right, this one square centimeter are in 798.9 square milli so this problem want me to take 798.9 square milli want me to express it in terms of square centimeter so I'm just gonna write this out real quick 798.9 square milli over 1 times another fraction put my square milli down here let's see if I got anything between square milli to square centi right away square milli to square centi oh right here is one to a hundred ratio square centi square milli so one square centimeter so I do have a direct conversion so I can put this up top right away. One square centimeter is a hundred square milliliter. That cancels out. So this is actually simply take 798.9 divided by a hundred. divided by hundred, which is also moving the decimal to the left two places. So my answer is seven point nine eight. Nine square centimeter. All right. The express two hundred thirty-two point one hectares into square kilometers. So square kilometer. Let's see what the ratio says. Oh, hang on a second. Let me write this out. Hectares over one times hectares. See what this formula says. Hectare to square kilometer. Uh, hectare does not go to square kilometer. Square kilometer is up here. Hectare take me to R's. Also, hectare take me to s square meters. Okay, so what do I do? Well, let's think about this, okay? Hectare can take me to square meters. So, up here, here is square kilometer. Square kilometer can go to square hecto, square deca, and square meters. So that means I can actually convert hectares to square meter and go from square meter back to square kilometer. Okay, so this one is, this problem is not quite direct conversion. Because in order to go from hectare to square kilometer, I don't have a ratio between hectare to square kilometer. But what I have is a ratio between hectare to square meter, and I also have square kilometer and square meter ratio. So I must go through square meter first. So when I put my hectare down here, I need to convert to square meter. Then we can go from square meter, since I don't want, I don't really want square meter up there, so I put one down here so the two can cancel. Square meter can then take me to square kilometer. All right. So that's why earlier I mentioned a couple of times, you know, direct conversion, or do I have a ratio directly take me from what I'm starting to what I need? If I don't, then that means I got to figure out who do I need to convert through? Who do I need to go through before I can reach my destination? All right, so let's write down our ratio here. So once you know what you're gonna do, we can now write down our ratio. Hectare, one hectare is 10,000 square meter. 
one hectare to 10,000 square meter. Hectare will cancel out. Now I'm actually at square meter. All right, square meter to compare ratio of square meter to square kilometer is one to a million. So one square kilometer is a million square meters. So now the square meter will cancel out. Only unit I got is square kilometer. All right, so let's see. I got one, two, three, four, zero up here. They can cancel out with four, zero down here. So this problem is simply just become 232.1 divided by 100. Divide by 100 means move the decimal to the left two places. So my final answer is 2 points. 321 square kilometer. Okay, that's how we actually do this, do problem like these. So whenever we don't have any direct we don't have a ratio in the table tell us how to go from uh, one unit to the next then we got to piece and then we got to figure out who I must go through before I can get to the unit I'm trying to trying to get to All right, let's try this last one how many square decimeters are in 540.2 square meter so I'm trying to convert between square meter and square decimeter square meter and square deci square deci no there's no square meter here square meter square deci that's a one to a hundred ratio so one square meter so let's see 540.2 square meter all right time over one times another fraction put my square meter down here i have a direct conversion from square meter to square deci and it says one square meter is a hundred square deci. All right, just double check. One to a hundred ratio. One to a hundred ratio. Very good. So now this problem will simply be 540.2 times a hundred. 540.2 times a hundred. So that will be 54,020. Right, square decimeters. All right. So in this lecture video, we take a look at how to convert matrix area to another matrix area using um, our dimensional analysis or unit fraction methods for, especially for units that we normally don't work uh, work with in our daily lives. And um, sometimes, if I don't have any direct conversion, okay, then I will need to figure out how I go from you know what unit I must um, I must pass through to reach the units I wanted okay so we do this quite a bit um, this is one of the toughest things when it comes to conversion is is to figure out uh, knowing where you start know where you need to end up but if you don't have a direct conversion who do you need to go through before you can reach your final destination okay we'll, we'll do more example like this um, in other in other videos Alrighty, that will conclude this lecture video on metric area. Thank you for watching.